It is now when everyone wants everything super quickly. I mean, look at Amazon Prime, Uber Eats, and even Fast Heart Disease. Like, what the f is this? But one of the longest things to do is to play a game. I mean, have you seen my channel? I'll play every three months. Speedrunning has been a massive subculture in gaming for the past 20 to 30 years and is evolving with every new game or exploit in an existing game. The first official speedrun was on Activision's game Dragster, which was 5.51 seconds, which was actually the fastest speed you could actually get scientifically. So obviously people will try to disprove the actual world record, but Activision have come out and said that it was real and it wasn't faked. After this speedrun, people went mad. They were trying to complete their favourite arcade game in a matter of minutes. After this, there was another massive boom when it came to speedrunning when in 1993, the original Doom was released and this opened a massive can of worms. Nowadays, Doom is used as sort of a meme whether it's played on an iPod or even a f***ing smart fridge. But back when it came out, there was a group of speedrunners that had a lot of passion for it. And so, the first official speedrunning forum was created, being called Compete N, which was all about beating Doom in the weirdest ways possible, like not taking damage, killing all enemies, or just simply completing the game. Speedrunning has also been helped by the fact that many people stream speedrunning games, and ever since that started, the speedrunning community has exploded. From Minecraft speedruns, to Super Mario 64 100% speedruns, and we f pencil sharpening, and many, many, many Twitch streamers that have gone popular off of it. Mario games are probably the most important to the speedrunning communities, with Super Mario Bros being one of the most fundamental pillars in speedrunning, and Super Mario 64 is probably still the most speedrun game ever, up there with Minecraft and Roblox doors, and Super Mario Odyssey having a massive community trying to get the sub-hour speedrun with the streamer Necro being the first streamer to actually hit the once impossible speedrun. Thank you guys for watching, I know it was a short video but since it's about speedrunning I thought I would make it quick, so comment, like and subscribe for more content about this kind of stuff and I'll see you guys later. Peace.